all right scrappers welcome back to the channel this morning we uh got a call from a gentleman to give us all of these hurdles that's right we got hurdles to jump over and take apart he's got uh this is just the first load he's got 150 of them for me and uh we're gonna find out how easily they come apart They weigh 27 pounds a piece. So when I get set up and I'm taking them apart, I will uh, show you how that goes and stay tuned. All right, scrappers, we're starting to figure this madness out. Um, a lot of them are different, different kinds and they come apart different. And sometimes the they're, they're 10 millimeter and other times they're been repaired or whatever with whoever knows what kind of screw. And uh, some of them have uh, a large steel piece inside this aluminum, which I've been, I've been taking it out. And then, uh, and then they also have a piece of steel in this tube which comes out pretty easy. I don't know where my channel locks went. Let me get my channel locks. You get this uh, this rubber, or not rubber, but plastic uh, insert on it there. And they come out pretty easy. And then I've been just sticking them over here. That is, That's number one prepared steel. <clears throat> so that comes out, those are junk. And then you push this little button tab in here and pull that out. Those are brass. The little end pieces here are brass. So I've been saving them off. And I've been cutting the ends of these. I cut all the way around it. And then the big piece of steel comes out of that too. Um, so now this is clean. You know, this is tubing. I don't know, is that extruded? Or is that, or is that gonna be considered sheet, rolled sheet? I don't see any like weld marks and I can't believe that they would be able to weld aluminum like they do a piece of uh, steel pipe. So I wind up with all these little uh, pieces of aluminum breakage I've been putting in most of them in that bucket except for the ones that I've missed. See, let me show you how I do this one. It, uh, uh, this one, the, the steel, Steel doesn't seem to be moving. The other, all the rest of them that I did, it was, uh, I could get it to run to one end and then uh, just use the Sawzall to cut through it. So, I don't know if I'm hitting the steel. Kind of looks like it. She kind of looks like it. Where are you going? Okay, that. That's breaking off of there. See, I was able to miss that steel, but I got a little too close to this one. Trying to find the right spot is the, is the tough part. 
But then uh, <coughs> this one comes right out. That's uh, that's gonna be prepared steel. It's less than three foot. I'm putting those right in here. <coughs> And we still got that little piece of steel in there. And I just been using the sawzall to cut those out. So is it a lot of work? Um, yeah, I guess you might say it is, but by the time we're done, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a pretty decent payday because we're gonna have all this aluminum and then we're gonna have all the prepared steel. And I'm thinking it's gonna be about 20, 25 pounds per unit. And I got 150 units. So it's gonna be over a ton of prepared steel, which I don't know what it's going for right now, but you know, if I took it to Green Bay, I could get shred price of 230 a ton. So I'm sure I'll do better than that. And then the aluminum, I think we're gonna come out good, even though it is taking me a little bit of time to take them apart, but I got more time than I got money. So, so that's the thing there. And the, the more I do, the faster I should get at it. So I'm gonna keep plugging away at these and I will check in with you later. All right, scrappers, I uh, just wanted to check in with you, give you a little update. Uh, I just did one and timed it, and she took seven minutes. She took seven minutes to get her done. This is all the aluminum that comes out of it. And uh, number one prepared steel there. Number one prepared steel there. These are junk. So it took seven minutes to break it down, cut the ends off, get the get the uh, steel out of them, and ready to move on to the next one. So I'm gonna quick do a little math, see how long it's gonna take me to get through this truckload, and I'll check back in with you later. And be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and, and tell all your friends about the Scrapmeister. All right, scrappers, uh, getting a little bit hungry. Got through 16 of them, we have 20 more to go. But uh, yeah, I need to get something to eat for supper. And I had forgotten my phone upstairs, so I gotta go up there and check that so I'll check back in with you later all right scrappers we got uh, 20 left to do out of this batch there was uh, 36 of them total and we got 20 more to go which I figure should take me about three hours I think I'm gonna set up a time-lapse and see how fast I can blow through these so yeah
All right, scrappers, we're uh, all loaded up with the uh, different models that came out of those 36 hurdles. And uh, we're gonna head take down to Fond take them down to Fond du Lac and see just how much cash we can generate out of 36 of them. So we can do some calculations to figure out if it's worth getting the other 114 of them from the gentleman. And yeah, I'll try to catch some uh, footage down at the scrapyard. All right, scrappers, we uh, are stuck. The road's down to one lane. Just thought I would show you uh, one of the great restaurants in your area, Wentz on the Lake. Got some of the best perch in the area. And then a nice look at our, our lake there. See all, see all the way across today. So yeah, we're about 10 minutes from the scrap yard. So I'll check in with you when we get to the yard. All right, scrappers. Um, we got through that whole load of 36 um, hurdles from high schools and uh, I was going to take them to Green Bay but I made the wrong decision and I took them down to Fond du Lac because I always seem to have gotten the best price on quality steel, you know, um, foundry steel from them. Unfortunately, after I got there and unloaded and went into the pay room, I only got $180 a ton. So technically I could have went to Green Bay with it and got 230 a ton. So yeah, for all that foundry steel, I got $57.51. The aluminum extru extrusion, um, there was 167 pounds at 43 cents a pound they only gave me. And I don't know why that is. Um, for $71.81. So a total, by taking it down to Fond du Lac, 36 of those hurdles was 129.32. Now, if I had to go on north to Green Bay for the uh, steel at $230 a ton, we had 639 pounds of it, would have been $91.85. And the aluminum, a week before, I took aluminum up there to Green Bay, we got 55 cents a pound versus the 43. So that would have been $73.48 for a total of $165.33. So that's a difference of $36.01 between going south and going north. So it's about double the distance to go to Fond du Lac, or to Green Bay than it is to Fond du Lac. So yeah, that was kind of crazy. These are the weirdest things that I've ever scrapped because there's the time that it takes to do them is uh, really crazy. So if I'd have just taken them to uh, shred up in Green Bay, I would have got $93. So I called the gentleman that gave them to me and told him I'd come and pick up another load, which I did. I didn't film any of that. But I just took them straight to the scrapyard here in Oshkosh. So the whole process took me about 45 minutes. And this was the ticket. It had 660 pounds. So that was not taking anything off of them. Just load them in my truck, drive three miles to the scrapyard, and throw them off. Got $150 a ton for $49.50. So let me know in the comments, what would you guys do in a situation like this? 
because it took me about 10 hours, 10, 11 hours maybe, to go pick them up, tear them apart, you know, separate it, load it into the truck, and take it down to Fond du Lac. So what would you do? Would you just be quick about it? Because he's got like three more loads of them there for me to do. So that'd be, you know, another 150, it'd be like a $200 by the time we got done, you know, do that versus three more loads at $165. But it's probably gonna take me 35 hours to tear them all apart. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. And then, then, why don't you go and check out my, my channel page. There are so many videos on my channel page that hardly anybody's ever seen. I mean, some of them only got 230, 240 views, and uh, I think you would enjoy them. So if you liked, if you like my videos, go to my channel page and check them out. You know, binge on them Saturday morning. Eat Oreo cookies and milk and watch the Scrapmeister. But right now, watch one of the cool videos that's on screen right now.